Okay, so what's great about this is you can use this for instruments as well, of course, and just plug straight into this multi input. I'm gonna use 15. <laughs> And this little white box is something that I've been waiting so long for to purchase, and now's the time. All right, stop, stop. No fuzzy warm B-roll sequence, because we have no time, literally. I've been asked to lead worship for a women's conference this Friday, and I am sick and tired of my portable system that we've been taking different places, and that's why I got this little gym. So what I want to do with you is bring you along and show you kind of what this is. This is the X-Air XR18. It's not new tech by any means. It's been around for uh, quite a while now. I am used to kind of the Midas and the Behringer X32 and the M32 setup, so I thought, well, oh, might as well get something like this. I can run it with an iPad. If you want to come on, keep watching. Uh, that smells good. <laughs> now this thing is much better than, well, I hope it's much better than what we've been using. This has been what we've been using for our portable system for like seven years. <laughs> and you know, although these systems, I mean, they're they're still bought and used today. You remember this. It's the Yamaha EMX512SC. I'm done with this. And we've been using the M32 uh, in our main auditorium and the X32 in our youth auditorium for a long time now. And I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna throw this out. I'm still gonna be able to use this, but when we are doing worship, actually wanting to get quality sound, the same kind of sound that we get out of our, our M32 or you know something close to it with the same type of functionality. Yeah, I knew we had to have something like this. So this is what I went with. And I went ahead and downloaded the X-Air app. So let's open that and see if we can get this thing set up. And I kind of wish it looked just like either the M32 or the X32 app. That would be really nice when people probably looking at me like, Ah, he didn't know what he's doing. And that, you know what, you'd be absolutely right. So, I'm gonna take some time with this. So now I got my channel set up. I mean, I can kind of start guessing what each channel would need, but it really won't make sense until I like actually get out there. What's up? All right, so we're here at the campground where we're having this women's conference. It looks amazing. I can't take credit for any of that, but I do want to show you around what we're using. I got everything set up as far as sound. The little XR18 made it so much easier and so much more fun um, to make something like this happen. So yeah, come on, follow me. Just like you saw earlier, this is the uh, Behringer XR18. I'm telling you, it's made it so much fun doing an outdoor like worship set because I literally can dial in every aspect of sound. We do have a sub. We are running the QSC uh, K sub. It's just a great sound. For the tops, we're using the Yamaha DXR12s. They sound incredible. They are powered. For vocal mics, we're using the Beta 87As. These are probably my favorite corded mic like ever. <laughs> The kick mic is a Beta 53A, 2A, 2, Beta 52A, something like that. Anyway, classic, just a great sound. Uh, we have that basically running because because it's a, kind of a small area, um, we're getting enough slap just without being mic'd uh, from this kick drum, and then that gives us that low end that we need that's coming through the sub. So I don't actually have any. Uh, of the kick running through the tops whatsoever because we hear enough of that slap. So anyway, it just sounds really good. Love this stand, it's one of my favorite stands. Um, it's a Gator Frameworks stand. In this box, this is the back of it because uh, I wanted to be able to get all the cables and stuff out the back, but 
This is our in-ear system systems. So let's go around to the front, I'll show you those. In-ears, we're using the, the PSM 300 transmitter uh, to the uh, P3RA receiver. Very simple. And this kit, come on now. Go ahead, man. What's up, guys? So today I'm playing my tie kit. This is a four piece kit I bought maybe two years ago and it's just absolutely amazing, beautiful color. For the time I've been using Evans GT G2 heads, pretty popular heads. I like the way they sound. Same thing with the kick drum head and using Evans. Um, that's what I use for most of my toms. So but the batter side you're using Evans? Yeah. Oh. But for snares, here lately I've been doing the Remo controlled sound. Um, I like the way it just gives off a good controlled sound. And for the cymbals, I'm using all Zildjian cymbals. These are kind of older cymbals, but they still sound good. And I got a uh, DW5000 series oh. kick pedal, but it's it's going good. So I don't know why I said it's going good. <laughs> That's it? That's right, it's my setup. Tonight, I am using the CP88. I'm so blessed to be able to use this board. It's our keyboardist, one of our keyboardist board. He was like, yeah, man, go ahead and use it, no problem. This is actually what Davin uses, so if you know the channel pretty well, Davin, the keyboardist on the channel, he uses a the 70 something, 77 key version of this. But this is a CP88. It's incredible for like live stuff like this. It's just a great stage keyboard. Check it out if you have it. Of course, we're using, um, uh, what are those called? Music stand. Good thing about Planning Center is it does have this like music stand app that you can get for like 10 bucks extra a month. And you just slide through all your music. Pretty cool. Our youth pastor, Pastor Dylan, he's gonna be listening in front of house. He's gonna have this in his hands. And this is your board. This is your soundboard now. It makes it so much easier in this portable setting, especially uh, to, for him to be able to be anywhere in this little tent and, and mix. Using the XR18 was a way better experience than I actually kind of thought it would be. Because, you know, I thought same technology, just in a smaller package, but this thing was awesome. But there are also some things that I just didn't quite like, and they're probably just more or less nitpicks, because there are so many good things about this. And one of those things is the UI of the app that goes with this. Obviously, you can't see here and mix on this because this is literally just a stage box that you then connect your app to. The app is like the most, one of the most important elements of this. The app user interface is not at all like the user interface for the M32 and the X32 app. So if you've used those apps, don't get this expecting to that being basically the same app. Now, I didn't expect it to be exactly the same I just kind of expected it to be somewhat similar, which would have made the time, the time that it took me to set all the channels up and things like that, it would have taken that time way down. And so that way I didn't have to get on there and figure out, like you saw in the beginning of the video, I started looking at it, I'm like, oh, I don't really have a clue how to go about setting this stuff up. It's not hard to learn, I'm just saying, it does take that a little bit extra time to learn the app, learn how to properly set up your channels. And once you get that going, then the familiarity starts to come in with the effects and the compression and the EQs and all the other little things about the Behringer and Midas stuff um, that you recognize or that's more familiar. And now connecting that iPad, you gotta use Wi-Fi. And the Wi-Fi router internally on this board is good. It's not great. Now this is my own experience. It has a roughly 50 foot range. Once I started getting out, and then it was direct shot now. Once I started getting out beyond 50 feet, it started getting a little rough. But you can connect your own router to it. You just plug it in right there via ethernet and then switch it over whoop, to ethernet. And then you can control this using your own router and whatever type of router you'd like to use or decide to use. It will probably be way better than using the onboard router in this device itself. All right, so enough about stuff I don't like. Let's talk about what I do like. I love the fit and finish. It is perfect. It is beautiful. It is elegant. It is, <laughs> I'm just saying all these things. No, it is, it is a great fit and finish. 
you can tell that it's designed well and built well. Um, I just really like using this. As well as I like the mic and quarter inch inputs. So the XLR and quarter inch inputs, dual inputs, which is great. And I know this has been out for a little while, but it still amazes me that you can get all of this, all of this technology and this functionality within this little bitty box right here, just with a little add-on of an iPad. Of course, that does take your cost up, but if you just are talking about the price of this thing right there, I highly recommend this. I got mine for uh, just a little over $500 on Amazon. Let me just actually, hold on. Hold on. So to run you about 550. Anyway, as you can tell, I highly recommend this. I, I had so much fun using it for the last couple weeks and we got a lot more that we need to use it for in the future. Check it out. I'll, I'll put a link below so you can check it out where I got it from. But of course, you know, I'm sure it's available or will be available at some of the other major retailers as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And thank you so much for watching this video. Remember, great worship leaders are always learning. Have a great day. See you.